if you even have to ask yourself that question, like, did I really get 225 for 20 six months ago? Then you've already messed up. There is absolutely no upside in lying to yourself when this product is used simply for yourself. Welcome to Objective Secure. In this episode, we are gonna discuss an aspect of phase six of this strategy, and that is tracking. Tracking, meaning documenting, logging, keeping track of what we are doing, how we're doing it, and the effects. For me, my tracking, my logging began with what I was doing with physical training, with what I was doing in the weight room, my training log, which many of us that are fitness enthusiasts are familiar with. So within a particular workout or within a particular day, more specifically my nutrition in that day, I was documenting sets, reps, personal records, calories, protein, fats, all this data. I was collecting all this data, which was important because I was able to keep track of what I was doing, how I was doing it, so that as I look to make progress over time, I have objective information to go off of. Objective data points to use as a baseline to then begin making adjustments. I need to increase my protein. I need to increase my volume over here. I need to add more reps. Whatever the situation mandated. Doing that for years, year after year after year. Fitness has been a huge aspect of my life for a really long time. After a while, I began adding to that training log. And I was adding more intangible data points. How much sleep did I get last night? What's my stress levels look like? How am I feeling? What do my external stressors look like? This was all purely for physical performance, but these other variables are factors in my physical performance. So if I was going through a stretch where I was having difficulty sleeping, that would affect what I was doing in the weight room. So I wanted to document that information. If I was dealing with some stressors in my personal life, chances are I was less focused during my training sessions, so I wanted to document that as well. So all this was purely based off of my desire to, to increase my capability as an athlete. And as I would leverage these logs, Looking back, I found myself gravitating more often towards these intangible data points. How I was feeling, stresses in my life. I was looking to, at that before I was looking at how many reps did I get on the back squat on this particular day and at what weight. Now certainly all this information has value, but my point is, is over time, I really began my journaling process within my training log. And then once I recognized the value in doing that, I just created an entire separate product. So I had my training log, sets, reps, calories, grams of protein, and then I had my actual journal where I was talking about my emotional well being, my mental well being. What was I thinking about? What was going on in my life that was causing friction? What was going on in my life that was causing happiness? Two separate products and just continue to run with it. And like any log or tracking any information, there's an enormous value in doing that. I began, like most of us did, <laughs> with writing things down in an actual notebook, pen, 
pencil to paper. I have stacks of these things. I'm going back now, you know, 20 plus years. For a while, I was committed to doing it that way, right? I'm old school. So I just didn't evolve with technology and with time. Eventually, I realized that that way of, of doing that was, was inefficient because nowadays, just about everybody walks around with a computer in their pocket at all times. So I did make the transition into a digital means of documenting this information because it just drastically increases my efficiency. I can, I can look rapidly back in time for specific data points. I can do a, a control find for stress. I can do a control find for bench press. And all this information comes directly to my face. Whereas with all these notebooks that I have, there's no real system to be able to leverage efficiently the information that's in there. So all of you out there that are old school, walking around with that notebook still in your gym bag or in your work locker or in your desk drawer, whatever, by all means, maintain doing so. But I challenge and I advise you to transition to something in the digital space because it will increase your efficiency in documenting and more importantly, your ability to leverage that information. However you choose to track what you're doing, that is all absolutely worthless information if it is not documented with honesty. If you're going to lie to yourself, don't bother writing anything down. Don't bother documenting anything if you are going to lie to yourself. Because in six months or six years, when you look back, assuming you leverage a log for what it's worth, you're not going to know if you were being honest at that point. If you even have to ask yourself that question, like, did I really get 225 for 20 six months ago? Then you've already messed up. There is absolutely no upside in lying to yourself when this product is used simply for yourself. It can be difficult, right? Sets and reps and what you did on the bench press, a little easier probably to document. When you start talking about documenting your emotions and stressors and feelings, right? A word that us alpha tough guys want nothing to do with. That act in itself becomes really difficult to do. And the reason why I hop on this, why I hop on journaling so aggressively is because of just that. Because of those within the community in which I represent, this is a real difficult task to execute. We block our feelings. They don't matter. We keep going no matter what. It's part of what makes us great. It's also part of what makes us vulnerable. So there is without question a therapeutic value that is to be gained by doing this. But even if you're not at that place yet, there is an undeniable analytical value behind doing this. Objective data to use to increase performance and capability by tracking. The key, however, is to be honest. Track, log, but do so accurately.